So as we have discussed in our OLS regression here, where we request whether the job seeker has found a job within six months on whether he actually uh, got the intensive counseling, our OLS estimator beta 1 hat is most likely biased and inconsistent with respect to the true causal effect beta 1 because we have these confounders like this job seeker's characteristic that affect whether he will in the end be treated, whether he accepts the treatment, um, but this also directly affects his ability to find a job. However, what is very nice in our setting still that we have a clear source of exogenous variation of our endogenous variable treated. So whether the subject had, has the option to get intensive counseling was randomized. And let's assume for the moment it was perfectly randomized independent of everything else. So this is then a, a variable that generates variation in whether the subject is treated or not, because only those with the treatment option could in the end be treated. And not only do we know that there's a source of exogenous variation, we also have data for it. We observe for each, each subject whether it has the option uh, for the treatment or not. And in such a case, where one has data for a source of exogenous variation, one can indeed consistently estimate the causal effect of an explanatory variable of interest here treated on whether the job was found, so this is beta 1, using a method called instrumental variable estimation, or short IV estimation. I first want to explain instrumental variable estimation in a general setting and we will come back to our job counseling application later. So consider a simple linear request, regression with a single explanatory variable x and due to confounders x is endogenous so it's correlated with the error term u in our regression. So this means our OLS estimator is biased and inconsistent. So in such a setting, we say an instrumental variable or short an instrument set for the endogenous variable X is a variable that um, satisfies the following two conditions. So the first condition is called the relevance condition. So set shall be correlated with the endogenous variable. So the correlation between set and x shall be unequal zero. It can be positive or negative, but it should be unequal zero. And it should be ideally not super small. So the absolute value sh should be substantial. And there are formal tests, so-called weak instruments tests, that will test whether this correlation is big enough. But let's not discuss this at the moment. And the second condition is our instrument set shall not be correlated with the error term. So the correlation between set and the error term shall be equal to zero. Uh, 